Other news now, Christians enter the uh, season of Lent now with Ash Wednesday on February 17th. It's one of the last religious days we haven't experienced yet in a pandemic. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live with what the state and local churches are saying about it. Patrick, last year Ash Wednesday fell on February 26, so it was later than it is this year, but still before we had our first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Rhode Island. That was on March 1st, so we're seeing how local congregations are getting creative. Here, that's the front of it, and then it doesn't look as good as on a forehead, but it shows up. Um, and I'm going to bag these. Reverend Patrick Green of St. John's Episcopal Church in Barrington said last year their drive through ashes program was successful, but he didn't think he'd be able to touch everyone's forehead this year, even when they're in a car. So he's putting those ashes on business cards and then the cards in bags and he's handing those out. And this weekend, churches and other houses of worship can open up from 25 to 40 percent capacity with a maximum of 125 people. But some places can apply for an exemption if they can fit more than 125 people inside while still maintaining a six foot social distance. Father Joseph Escobar of Our Lady of the Rosary in Providence said he'll be doing that. But churches that are smaller, it's a much greater significance because now they will be able to have more people at mass. Now, for Catholics on Ash Wednesday, I checked the guidance that the Vatican is giving out and the Diocese of Providence has shared, and that's that the priest will say their traditional prayer of the ashes at the altar and then go with a mask on to Catholics who want to go to Ash Wednesday service, and the priest will sprinkle the ashes over the person's head in silence. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.